ZWCAD 2026 is now available and I explored all the new and improved features of this software and I handpicked some of my favorite features for you. So if you don't have ZWCAD, you can download its 30 day free trial version using the link in the description of this video. So without any delay, let's jump into the first ZWCAD 2026 feature. So let's start with the first new feature, which is the parametric feature. Now it's available in ZWCAD. And for that, you can directly go to this parametric tab here. And we have all the parametric tools right here. Now, here I have this simple door block. And let me show you an example where you can use it in a very logical way. So currently, this door is made with arc, a rectangle, and a line. And all of these three objects are separate. They are not connected using group or block. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'll auto constrain it. So using auto constrain, essentially it will constrain all the points and that's going to keep the shape of this door block intact. So using auto constraint, you can keep the position of all these points exactly where they are. And the overall shape of this door block will remain intact. So I'll just select it all and press enter and now it added all these smaller constraints like parallel tangent coincident and so on now if you want you can add these constraints manually as well we have the option of adding it right here and you can even show or hide these constraints if you want so you can hide them all if you want you can show them all or you can show hide selectively now I'll go to this dimension constraint, which is linear, and I'm going to add just one dimension here from this point to this. Now, it may look like it's a simple dimension, but it's quite a lot. So here, this dimension is 317 unit. And let's now say that we want a smaller door here. So if we change the length of this, because the entire geometry is constrained, all the other dimensions will change automatically. So I can just double click here. And rather than using 317, I'll use 200 unit here and press enter. And as you can see, everything else changed accordingly. So you don't have to just manually update everything. And that's really cool thing about parametric feature. Now the next one is ZWCAD toolbox. And to show the toolbox features, I'm going to use this drawing. So let's just go to home tab. And right here we have the toolbox. So if you click this, it will open this toolbox. And this toolbox is kind of like very smart features and very smart tools that are built right into ZWCAD. Let me start with a very simple example. And maybe for that example, I need a drawing with layers. So I'll just go to this plumbing model. And here I'll go to layers. And as you can see, there are so many new options here, but I'm interested in this layer switch. Okay, so usually what happens is in a drawing, if you just want to assign a command to a specific layer, well, you can do that. As an example here, I'll go to this new and I'm going to call it one and S. Now this is a very specific command here and I want to assign one S to this sewer line layer. All right. Or if you want, you can just add one D and maybe assign it to doors layer or whatever you want. You can even use just single character if you want. So I'll click on okay and okay again. So now if I type 1D and press enter, it will automatically switch the layer to doors. So that 1D command is now assigned to this doors layer. You can add as many as you like. If you don't want it, you can go to layers, layer switch, and you can select and even delete it from this list. Click okay and done. Now another one is text masking feature. So right now here we have this hatch pattern here and right on top of this we have a text. Now this text is barely visible. So if you want to show it clearly, you can go to text, select text mask, select the text object and press enter and it will add a masking. And now the text is clearly visible. Okay, let's look at one more here. So I'll go to this plumbing model and now I'm going to go to this blocks option and here we have change blocks name. Now this is something that you might want to use quite frequently. So I'll just select this change block name and I'll select this sofa. All right. Now the sofa name is well, there's sofa, two seater, round back, love seat, five feet. Well, that's a long name. So I'll just name it as this sofa. All right. Round back, five feet. That's about it. That's the name. And with that, I'll click OK. So now it not only renamed this, 
but essentially it just renamed all the instances of this block so if i go to insert and select this sofa well you can see that its name is different now so you can quickly rename it like this all right now let's once again go to this dimension and let's talk about some of the dimension tools here that we have so go to dimension and here you can add well center line center mark these are completely new so go to center line select the two lines and the center line is added you can even stretch the center line if you want it to go beyond those points and if you want to add center mark well that's also possible so just go to this dimension and select center mark and you can add center mark on arcs or you can even add it on circles or maybe here now if you want to add automatic dimensions that's also very much possible so just go to dimension and select object dimension select the object in this case i'm selecting the polyline and all the dimensions of this polyline are added if you want to add more dimensions you can go to object dimension select another polyline or line and it will add the dimension so select and add it now if you want to modify the dimensions those options are available on the grip so select the dimension and now if you hover your cursor over the grip you have all of these extra tooltip options that you can use to modify the dimension for example you can select center vertically to move the dimension exactly at the center of the dimension line you can move it also if you want now you can also use the measurement tool here to select polylines lines and different objects and find their overall length for example total distance of selected lines that's what i'm selecting i'll select this one which is a polyline essentially and press enter and the total length will show up here as 838.4182 unit all right once again let's go to this plumbing model and now let's talk about a few selection tools also that we have in the toolbox so go to select and here you can select objects using any of these criteria. For example, let's say we want to select objects using color. So go to select by color. And in this case, this object, though it looks like a door, it's not a block. It's just a bunch of simple objects like line, polyline, and arc. Now I want to use this criteria to select it. So I'll select this. And now it will use the color of this object to select all the objects matching the similar color. So all the doors are essentially selected, even though they are not blocks. Let's go to select again. And now I want to select objects by block name. So go to block name and select a block from a drawing and press enter. And same blocks are selected everywhere. It doesn't matter how big or small the blocks are. Even if you have resized them, it will select it. And then there are other criteria as well that you can select from this list. All right. Now let's use another tool, another new tool in ZWCAD, which is called Smart Match. For that, I'll go to this smart tool here, smart tab, and select the smart match. Now, using this tool, you can select similar objects. So, I'll just specify the source object using this box, select it, and maybe I'll just select this door. Once again, this door is a bunch of polylines, lines, and arc. Now, I'll press enter, and now specify the matching criteria. So, here match objects with different angles yes i want to match it match objects with different scales if you want to match objects that are of different scale you can select it or you can uncheck it i only want objects to match which are in different angles but of the same size so you can also set the tolerance here how close you want to match it and in this case i have very small tolerance so essentially anything which is exactly matching this will only meet this criteria so i'll now click on match and anything that matches this exact door block will be selected so as you can see it selected it all but it did not select it this block or this because the sizes of these two blocks are different though it is selecting all the blocks that are in different angles so that's the match tool that you can use and now press enter and it will select it entirely all the objects matching your criteria now Another new feature which is really impressive is similar search and I really like this feature. Let me show you an example here. So using this drawing, I'll now go to this similar search option. By the way, it's still in the smart tab. So go to similar search and it's going to show it like this. Now here, the first thing is you need to start with the object which you want to search in your block library. As an example, in this case, I'll just go to this browse option. But before I do that, let me select the main object. So here you just click this and select the main object that you want to search in your library. So maybe let's just select this sink. All right. And press enter. 
Okay, so now the source object is selected, specify the location where you want to search for it. So I'll go to browse and essentially I have specified a location which is AutoCAD's design center folder. So you can select it or if you have saved your drawing files or your blocks somewhere, you can specify that location. Here in this case, I'll select add folder, specify the location, which is essentially the same folder. I'm not going to change it, but if you want, you can just select any folder. All right. As it already exists, it's going to show me the prompt, but that's totally fine. And now with that, close it. The location is added, then click on search. Now it will perform the search and it will show all the objects that match your selected object. So here it is, all the objects matching this will show up. Now, in this case, I'm doing a very loose search. Similarity range is very close to zero. So I'll just move the slider here. And now as you move close to 100%, only objects that match 100% will show up, even the rotation angle. So that's not something that we want. So maybe I'll just keep a slightly loose criteria here. And there it is. Now, if you want to insert any other object from this list, all you've got to do is select it, click on insert and the object will be added. Now, of course, this is not the sync, but if you have a large library with sinks and all the similar kind of objects, it will show it. But if you have a large library of blocks with sinks, doors, blocks, other blocks, it will automatically show it here and you can use it from the list. So with that, I'll cancel it. Now, the next one in our list is batch block and essentially using this command you can replace one block with another let me show you an example so here we have this sink right here and the same sink is here in two different locations but we don't want this sink rather we want a different one so for that i'll type batch block and press enter and that's going to open this now here you need to start with match objects and just select the object which is this block in this case so click on this box select this object press enter now click on match and it will find all the blocks. In this case, just two of these blocks are found. So it's going to replace these two. Once you're done, press enter and batch block will open up again. Now we don't want to create a new one. If you want to create a block, this is the option, but we want to replace. So go to replace and now select the block from this list. Essentially, this will select the block from your existing drawing. But if you want, you can click on browse and select external file for a block. I want one from this existing drawing. So I'll select new sync and now specify the insertion point now i'll keep the same insertion point as i have for this block so i'll just select this insertion point and the scale and everything else is exactly the same i don't want to change it but if you want you can change the rotation angle and scale here so with that click on batch block and it is replaced here not just here if you go to this one it's replaced here as well so essentially with just one command you can replace it everywhere in the drawing all right now let's talk about the next command, which is also very useful. And that's the count of objects. So for that, the command is OBJ count. Now this is especially helpful if you want to count the specific objects from your drawing. So click on this plus and now select the objects that you want to count. So go to current drawing and here select the blocks that you want to include in your list. So I want to include this sink. I want to include this, this, so I'll just press and hold control to select multiple objects here and maybe these two objects. Okay. So with that selected, I'll click OK and now the list will show up here. And if you want to show the count, simply click on count and the count or the quantity of these blocks will show up here as well. Now, if you want to create a table using this data, you can click on create table and put this table anywhere you like. Now, currently this table size is massive. Of course, with respect to the drawing, it's big. So I'll select it and I'll make it smaller using this grip. You can just decrease its size or you can also use the scale command if you want and decrease its size completely. So maybe I'll just use a scale to make it smaller. I'll select this base point and here maybe the size is just good. All right. If you want to make it smaller, well, you can do that. So that's another great new enhancement. So that was my list of favorite new ZWCAD features. Which one did you like the most? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to get your trial version of ZWCAD using the link in the description. I'll see you soon with another one.